the power side, uh, the deregulation has been moving, you know, a lot more smoothly, uh, a lot faster than on the oil and gas side. I think the perception from outside investors is that infrastructure, midstream net gas is uh, where the action is. Uh, it's where you can get a strong off taker in CFE. It's where you have some certainty in the, in the pricing in a deregulated market, very similar to the US. I think the one thing to keep an eye on is that if you peel back uh, the onion, so to speak, of the uh, reforms, just keep in mind that whatever you do for right now in natural gas, because uh, Cinegas is not fully ramped up with the staffing, still have a lot, a lot of it goes through Pemex. And so Pemex still has uh, essentially a monopoly on the, on the processing side. So anybody producing upstream that would want to sell gas, again, you'd have to process it, you know, through Pemex and Pemex, then it circles back to the price caps. Uh, the VPM formula. So I think there's some dynamic there in the pricing, w which might make it interesting to say the least for, for outside competitors. One other thing to keep in mind is when you look at the uh, opening up the allocation process that you're going to have uh, roughly the way some of the analysis we've done at LATAM Energy Advisors, it's only going to be roughly 10 or 15 percent what we think will still be open as far as net gas capacity, at least on the uh, big Cistran network. It's a major one that everyone's focused on. So I would say two things. Keep in mind that you can get down there, you can get organized, ramped up, you can uh, raise funds, but at the end of the day, you, you may not get allocated any capacity, even though it seems like it's an open market. Number two, anything you might want to sell after processing it or, or into the downstream, there's still going to be Pemex.